Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. Today I'm playing Sons of the Forest, or as I like to call it, Happy Forest Simulator, an exaltation of the simple joys of communion with nature. Sons of the Forest offers a chance to rediscover a purer state of being, one that is not dominated by the rise and grind mentality of modern life and social competition. It's a blissful rediscovery of man's roots before the oppression of civilization. Stripped away are the grueling, hour-long commutes through gridlock traffic to a nine-to-five dead-end job that barely provides for the basics. Why jump through all those hoops when nature's bounty provides all the necessities? The warmth of a fire, the cool taste of water sipped from your hand, the serenade of bird song under the moonlight, it's a Hobbesian lie that life without civilization would be solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Rather, Sons of the Forest presents a worldview much more in line with the Swiss philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau. According to Rousseau, man in his natural state, in a time before the advent of civilization, was motivated by what he called amour de soi, or a love of self. All man's energies were devoted to primal simplicity, eating, sleeping, reproducing. With such minimal desires, there was no need to resort to violence. Every desire, every natural impulse was easy to fulfill. Not the war of every man against every man as Hobbes theorized, but then civilization happened. No longer did man exist in a state of self-love. Instead, he judged himself by the perception of others, what Rousseau dubbed amour propre. In a group or society, hierarchies emerge. There is always the best singer, the best athlete, the best dancer. The community valued these skills and rewarded them. But did society ever think how I would feel? just because I'm not the best dancer. Rousseau said this was the first step towards inequality. The desire to be the best, to excel, to dominate, was inherently competitive and went beyond the need of mere survival. It must be had at another's expense. We cannot all be the best dancer, Virginia. And that's the magic of Sons of the Forest. We can escape back into a world of amour de soi, self-love, with no rules or government, and especially no police, getting in the way of peaceful coexistence and equality. Consider the relationship between the protagonist and Kelvin. It's not one based on competition, like modern civilization would necessitate. It's the perfect illustration of the self-love between men in harmony with the natural world. I tell Kelvin what to do, and he happily does it. If I need something to eat, he gets it. If I need him to build something for me, he builds it. Though a log is a burden, it's far lighter than the weight of civilization on a man's shoulder. As Rousseau said, private property is unnatural and the original source of all inequality. When people have concepts of mine and yours, Violence is required to maintain the status quo. But once things are all equally shared, the need for violence evaporates. Karl Marx would later describe it perfectly, from each according to his ability to each according to his needs. Society imposes unnatural limitations on our natural impulses. These restraints must be broken. The bonds shattered. Only then, will true happiness be achieved. And now I'll be the best dancer, Virginia. Thank you for watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And remember, we are all sons of the forest. Return to Mother Nature.